uh, holding that uh, <clears throat> holding that that team to 32 in the second half is, is something to be proud of. And, and I know they missed some shots, but uh, to me, it all starts with coming out and being much more physical. Um, not fouling, but just not letting them run their offense smoothly in the second half. Uh, that's a that's an extremely talented team. They they execute well. They got all stars, and, and just really proud of that that effort we came out and played with in the second half. Uh, Rashawn, I thought, really set the tone with being able to blitz guards and get back to his own. JJ came in again. It was a nice spark. Um, Buddy, for as cold as he was most of the night, uh, you know, as he showed his confidence tonight, and that's what we want. You know, him and Bogey. Bogey had a shot late in the clock that they messed up a switch, uh, and he took the three and missed it. I told him I love that shot. That's a dagger right there if you hit it, and I'll take that from him all day. Uh, and then Harrison, obviously, was – we talked about him kind of being that calming force for our group. Uh, and, and tonight he, he showed again why he's so important to us on both ends of the court. Um, Katie Hunter, Kings TV, something that really stuck out, stood out to me was just the rebounding, particularly offensively. 13 offensive boards, 18 points, and second chance points, and you guys actually win the battle of the paint. How important was it against this team to be able to have that kind of a performance on the boards and in the paint? Yeah, we would have lost if we didn't have that. And, and a lot of times, I mean, and that's a big team. So, um, But in the second half, I really thought, you know, our guys, and we'll have all sorts of good clips to show uh, off of that and teach, but that's how we have to team rebound. And, uh, you know, ultimately, uh, especially as we, you know, eventually get healthy and we can, if we can rebound like that and defend like that and, and now get out into the open court, um, you know, that's when, you know, the, the vision of where our team can go is, you know, gets pretty exciting. It really felt like in the first half, um, a lot of whistles were blowing and not necessarily in your favor. You guys end up shooting 21 free throws tonight, especially coming off a performance in Philly where you only took nine. Yeah. Um, to be able to to come out with this one, how much of a focus was that to get back into the Yeah, into the line? you know, we're, we're always working on getting better and that, you know, will change from time early in the season. It was, you know, rebounding and then defense, execution. And, and now, you know, turnovers has been a constant one. And I felt we turned it over too much tonight. Uh, but free throws have been hurting us. The, the amount other teams are shooting compared to us, uh, and part of that I get is you know we don't have De'Aaron and Marvin. Those are probably our best. Uh, throw Harrison in there. Those are probably the two best uh, at getting in the paint and, and making people foul them. Um, but we showed tonight that we you know we want to stay aggressive and. We still got 33 threes up, but I felt like we did a nice job of uh, attacking the paint. When we made our not in our runs, it, it was some threes, and it was you know Buddy getting to the to the, to the front of the rim. It was Harrison uh, getting to the rim. So uh, we want to keep that balance in the way we play. Sean Cunningham, ABC 10. You don't see teams win games very often when their first lead comes in the overtime session. Just do you want your guys to feel that they really accomplished something to, like this kind of means a little bit more given those circumstances? Um, no, I want, our guys should know like if, if it should feel good. But, uh, you know, we're playing on our home court. We should expect to win games. And I, we know Denver's a very good team, and that's not to take anything away from Denver. But, you know, we're uh, – you know, we feel like we have a group that has a chance of winning every night. And so when that game's being played on our home court, it, you know, let it feel good, but expect it to happen. And, uh, you know, I think our, you know, our guys are excited right now, but you know, they're not throwing the locker room around in excitement. It was a good, solid win for our group, one that we, you know, we needed and we worked for. Um, you know, Vlade has a rule. You got till midnight to let it hurt. You got till midnight to to let it feel good. So we'll do it again. We'll feel good until midnight, and then we're back at work tomorrow, getting ready for Chicago. Luke, Jason Jones, the Athletic. Uh, it seems like the guys you have right now, Harrison's the guy with the best chance to get to the line mm -hmm. uh, in the double digit range. Are you asking him to attack more or do different things to continue to get to the line, or is it just you know coming in the flow of what you guys are running? Yeah, um, we've t we've talked about it. Um, and we always want to we want to flow first, but if we don't have a flow, we we we're looking uh, to get Harrison uh, more touches, uh, more aggressively, looking uh, 
to, to score. And he's such a good basketball player that he's normally just making the right plays. You know, even look at this last road trip. He was getting 20 a night on probably 70% from the floor. So uh, he, he no, he's normally not going to force anything. But yeah, as a staff, we're trying to make a point to be able to get him the ball uh, a little more. So I'm from Arena Sport. Uh, coach, you look like a team. Uh, you showed the attitude. Can you compare this uh, roster of Sacramento with the Champions 1 from 2002? Oh, Actually, wow. Not exactly Champions 1. Yeah, but. yeah I, mean, I wasn't here for that team. But that, that was one of the, the best teams, at least since I've been alive, one of the most fun, entertaining teams to watch, that 02 team here in Sacramento. They, you know, they had Hall of Famers, All-Stars, shooting. They, they, had, they had a complete package. So, um, you know, we're, we're, that's, we're, that's a standard that we're trying to get our team to. Luke, Jason Anderson, Sacramento B over here. Um, and it sounds like you're not getting overly excited. The locker room's not going crazy or anything. You just expect to win, win ball games. But is, when you're trying to establish good habits, which you've talked about, and an identity, which you've talked about, is there some benefit to, to being able to come back and win a game this way? Yeah, absolutely there is. Uh, and we want to win. And, and the guys are excited. Don't get me wrong. It's just, you know, uh, it's when, when we're working uh, as hard as we're working, it, it's it's nice to be able to reward the guys and, and the organization and the fans with uh, how good it feels to win. Um, but you know, I, I think that's kind of a it's it's also a great tool for learning as far as the difference between the joy of winning, the pain of losing, and what those games are like. What our first half felt like compared to what our second half. How much harder did we play in the second half tonight? Um, and when you can feel that and learn from it and then, you know, get a win on top, that's a pretty good night. Yeah. Now, if we don't learn from it, then it's, you know, it's a win in the column and it's a waste. But, I, you know, with our group, I feel like we keep learning from our experiences. Luke, James Ham, NBC Sports. Uh, Justin James, you seem to have some faith in him and some trust in him late yeah. in games. How much is he making your dif your decision difficult when you get 100% healthy with his play? Well, it's – you know that's why we put so much emphasis on uh, on culture and team. Um, you know, so there's going to be nights that we call on him, and as we get guys healthy and back, there'll be nights that he's down in the G League, developing still as a player. But we feel confident confident in him because he knows the offense and he's a heck of a defender. He scraps defensively, he makes plays, he gets his body in there, and he helps us rebound, which is something we you know obviously need every night, but especially tonight. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's bogeys on six minutes at a time right now. It's the most we can play him is six minute stretches. We got no Fox. We got no Marvin. Trevor is out. You know, Trevor will be, you know, start to work his way back into it, hopefully play Monday. So, you know, as guys come back, we'll, we'll see how the game's going. But when, when you're a team, you, you look, you find what you're looking for. And if got, someone has it going, then we'll ride with them and, and the rest of the guys will support that. Uh, Coach Jordan Christmas, News 93.1 KFBK. Uh, in the first half, the Nuggets shot 50% from the floor and from three. I was wondering how much of that was some defensive, maybe defensive lapses versus just hitting the Nuggets hitting. It seemed like they hit yeah. a bunch of contested threes. And they, they did, but they're, they're a very good shooting team and they're built. They, they're, they, got, you know, they know what they're doing out there. So uh, in my opinion, it's when you let that, that machine start to feel good and that ball moves side to side, then even when you contest shots, they're going in. I mean, those guys are high-level shooters, and, and they got a lot of them over there. Um, so it's our job as a defense to disrupt some of that. Don't let, them, don't let the ball swing side to side. Uh, and then when you contest shots and they're not doesn't have the same rhythm and flow, those are the shots that normally will, uh, you know, find their way out of the rim. And I thought we did a much better job in the second half of that. Thank you, everybody.